Uh, hi, my name is Nathan Smith. My account number is 2256, set number 33372. Today I'm going to be talking about how power could corrupt people, how it could change people's minds, how it can turn from good to evil. It can boost people's egos and make them think things that they wouldn't usually think. It, it changes people and gives them an internal struggle. Power could go to people's heads and and start this journey where they never thought they would get to. Certain people become arrogant when they get their power as it, and they start not caring for others, such as Ozyman Diaz. When he, get, he got his power, he constantly he talked about how he had a statue and he was self-pronounced King of Kings, as if he was higher and superior than everyone else. He, th he thinks he could do what he wants just because he's at a certain power. But once upon a time, he could have been nice, he could have been considerate, he could have cared for other people. Um, it, Osman does obviously thought that he, people, other people should bow down to him. Because he doesn't understand that power doesn't mean that you're the greatest person on the world. He, he obviously thinks that people think should, should know who he is and just think of him as a saint and bow down to him. Also, there are many people in history that thought very similar things to Ozymandias. These people would be called dictators, such as Hitler, who would you believe was once not as bad as he, as he last known him. He was bullied as a child by a Jew, which gave him his hatred of Jews. I want to once he started growing up, he became more evil and evil, manipulating, manipulating to everyone as he was smart. And this is very dangerous for someone that, as high position in Germany as he was. This, this decision was Führer, which he made himself by combining Chancellor and President through his powers as Chancellor. Also, people, um, people such as dukes have also been corrupted by power, such as the duke from Milo's Duchess. He he became sexist and blamed blamed his wife's death on her being unloyal and untrustworthy. And he abused his power to have a portrait of her behind a curtain so he could see her whenever he wanted. But he obviously didn't care about his wife because he easily replaces her and doesn't doesn't care for what what about her and her death. In conclusion, I think this shows that power corrupts everybody because the duke abuses power and dictators have turned evil as they've grown in power. This shows that the nicest people could become arrogant and corrupted on power. Yeah. Any questions? What do you, in Ozymandias, like, there's the remains of him, so what do you think that that could suggest? Um, that, he, that he thought people would remember him for generations. He'd be a household name. Um, when you mentioned about Hitler being bullied and that's why he did what he did, do you think that's a good enough answer for what he actually did? Not necessarily, but it shows that everyone may have a little trauma as a child and could lead to what they did when they grew up. Do you think Ozymandias was as powerful as he says he was? Because there's no evidence to show that he was powerful. No, I, th I, think, I think he was um, overstating his welcome moves and like, making himself seem better than he was. He was just arrogant, like I said, with power. The, the, whatever lived in power he ever had. Do you think power always corrupts, or do you think there are examples of where power is actually used for good? I think power ca can be used good, but it's always a danger that power can turn anyone. Change doesn't matter if they don't change evil or not. You can mm. still change. Okay. Do you think there? Are, can you think of any examples, maybe, where power has been used for good? Mm. Any key figures, perhaps.
not really. I don't think anyone uh, of good usually gets remembered because people usually remember the people that did bad. Right, okay. Any more questions? No? Okay, excellent. Well done, Nathan.